Um, so we're gonna be updating some files. <laughs> it's not like the end of your song. <laughs> yeah, I liked it. It was like a little. That's crescendo. a little beat. You need to do a little mix on that. Somebody need to produce that. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah, top of the charts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to start off because I've had time to prepare because I am the host and as the talent we like to keep you like Jay-Z going off the top of the dome <laughs> <laughs> no pen no pen no pen <laughs> <laughs> she's stupid okay um, so I'm going to say the the one I want to go to first is about marriage. If I have an objection, or if, uh, fuck it, what's another word for it? Because that sounds a little bit too. Disagreement? A disagreement, or I'm bothered about something. Complaint. A complaint, a whatever. Frustration. You should oblige. You know what I mean? Like, as my wife, I'm bothered about this thing. Maybe it's, uh, what could it be? Um, I get, do I want to? Leaving your shoes on in the house. Wow. Washing dishes, leaving dishes in the sink. What you Lowering the toilet. What you wear. wear. What you wear. Um. Calling me when you've been out late. Or. Being out late. Being out late. <laughs> Going out with your friends. Yeah, so I guess what, and I, I guess some of the ones for me personally that I used to object to might be like, uh, I can't even remember honestly. Maybe like how you spend your time and energy. Communicating my problems to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, what I'm getting upset about. Yes, what's bothering you? Don't let that bother you. That bother. It bothers me when you complain about me, so you <clears> should <throat> stop. It bothers me if you um, overexert with friends or family that end up bothering me and complain to you. And about so I'm telling it. you, don't go talk to them and don't go do this because it's going to end up like this for you. So basically, I'm projecting out my fears and my worries and my whatever onto what might happen or what is happening and because I'm having a certain emotional response a certain rejection to the moment I'm now telling you change it or you don't love me type thing that's what I was on because basically I didn't understand the individual nature of marriage <laughs> I took it as just a whole one thing and the one thing I guess was my thing <laughs> well you are a man <laughs> Couldn't be my thing. <laughs> that would be <laughs> uh. vagina monologues. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I live in your vagina monologue. Hey, I hope you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's 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 one of the things from marriage that I what, think what's that's a, a good follow, one. What's a but say you anyone for you <gasps> personally, yeah. I feel like that's a good one for me too, but I'm not going to use it because you said it. Um, a marriage file that I would update. This sounds a little weird, but your marriage is your most important relationship. Mm, wow. Wow. So you want to uh, keep going, keep going. I think it goes into what you were saying. And it's not to say that it isn't an important relationship, mm -hmm. but I feel like when we look at romantic relationships, it becomes the relationship, right? So then everything else is subject under to marriage and kids, which creates a half a person. Like you said, that's not an individual, right? Mm. What do you want? What do you need? What do they need too, but do you put yourself into that equation, right? And so I think sometimes when it's overly focused on 
marriage, kids, all of that. You forget who you are and what you want, what you need. Are you saying that's the most important relationship? Or, or, <laughs> to me, it's not one. I got you. And I think that's the problem. If I put all my eggs into you, I got you. that's already imbalanced. I got so you. I can't even explore what other relationships yeah. are important, right? Yeah, or yeah. develop what other relationships are important, which, yes, myself is a huge factor yeah, in that. Yeah. But also kids and also friends and also family yeah. and also all of that so that there's a balance. Because I don't think it should be all on any one person. That's too much for any of them. Like, even if I only was on my mom, only on my dad, right. only on my brother, only on you, only on the kids. That's too much for any one person. Right. I look I like at it that as a sort of a diversifying interest. Yeah, yeah, because I guess, you know, especially for us, I, maybe it's not age dependent. We got married young, so it was especially easy for us, maybe or not. Fuck what I'm saying. But I could see that ease of over investment into the single person because of the value that the intimate relationship can give you right which could separate from a friend or a family it, it goes a bit deeper in ways um exposure proximity and time and so i can see how you could put a lot I of also eggs think in that it's for women maybe not men but at least for women is what we're taught to do be homemakers yeah. yeah, be nurturers, mothers, Mothers, wives. wives, like as early as I can remember, most of my lessons were around being a wife. Right, prepping. Like you know that comes with kids, but it's mostly being a wife, like right. preparation for that. Yeah. So there's already an idea that you got to do all this adjusting and changing and shifting and becoming and doing to be a wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's no identity of who you are, your wife. That's right. your future. <laughs> And that yeah. comes with kids and whatever that means and responsibilities of yeah. a wife. But that's like the identity. So therefore, who are you outside of that role? 